Hello and welcome to part 12 on how to create your own Android launcher slash home screen application. So last time we worked a little bit on widgets to where if you long press you can select a widget to add as you can see and we got it so where you can add three widgets at a time. Um, in the future I'm going to work more on positioning and I'm going to polish the app up a bit to make it usable. And then also today I want to talk a little bit about uh, some fixes that we need to do. And then I want to try to get into shortcuts. And then after that, in a video after that, I want to start um, making it um, so where you can use an icon theme for the app. So one of the problems we people have been having is after you add it to the home screen and whenever you're dragging the app and you let go sometimes it will launch the app that you're dragging so to fix that I'm actually going to I'm going to add a long press listener um, so inside of draw a long click listener add ll dot set on long click listener new on long click listener and then um, let's do inside of here we can do the touch listener so control X control V and instead of we don't really need to pass this in so I'm actually going to remove that and inside of the app touch listener class I'm also going to remove the constructor as well as the icon size integer and then I'm going to replace the icon size integer with v dot get with um, and v dot get height and v dot get width and v dot get height and then another thing we need to return true instead or else we'll have the same problem where when you're dragging after you long press and you drag and you let go it will actually run the app so we need to return it true so it actually interrupts the click event and then um, after you drag it and you let go we want to disable the touch listener which is doing the dragging so we can add another case first we need to break the action move and then we add another case motion event dot action underscore up and in the action up, add the break. And inside of it, we can do v.set on touch listener. And we just set it to null. That way, it, there's no listener and it's not going to drag again until after you long press. And then finally, in the long click listener instead of ll which I accidentally put we need to put v and then it should be working just fine where you can long press on the app to drag it and you can let go and it's not going to launch the app so now I want to start working on uh, shortcuts so first we need to make a quick little menu to where it, to where if you long press on the home screen it will pop up whether you want a widget or a shortcut so inside of the values folder um, let's add the strings for um, widget and shortcut so I'm going to open up the strings file you can either do it directly from XML or inside of the resources GUI click on string click OK and you type in the name and the value the name will be widget 
and the value will be widget and then create a new one new string name um, shortcut and the value shortcut okay so now that we have the strings added we need to create the dialog where you can select between a widget and a shortcut so inside of main activity where we add the on long click listener we will start to create the dialog so it'll be an alert dialog so let's start by making the builder so alert dialog dot builder b we can name it b equals new alert dialog dot builder with the context of main activity dot this and then we need to make the items and uh, strings from what we just created so an array of strings string square brackets equals um, get resources dot get string r dot string dot widget and then we need the other string so get resources dot get string r dot string dot shortcut and close the brackets and we will name the string items alright now we have the items and then b dot set set items and the items are items and then the listener new dialog interface dot on click listener control shift O to import the on click listener and then for int which okay so that's the position where um, you're you pressing it's which item you're pressing so we can do a switch case so switch and we can do which and then for the case we can just do case zero break and case one and break so case zero is the widget because that's the first item so the widget we can just cut the select widget um, call and place it into zero alright so now that we got the click listener set up we need to make the alert dialog so alert dialog D equals new no no equals B dot create and then we do D dot show I believe that's all we need so now let me run it so here's what it's going to look like whenever you add that code and right now only the widget button will work and it will pop up the select widgets now that we have the dialog let's start creating the select shortcut method so it's going to be a little bit similar to the select widget method so void select shortcut and then we'll create an intent equals new intent and the action is intent dot action underscore pick activity and then intent dot put extra 
and then intent dot extra intent and the value will be new intent with the action of intent dot action underscore create shortcut finally we start the activity so that well start activity for result the intent is intent and the result code let's add into the IDs so into the IDs I'm going to just go into XML I'm going to copy the request pick up widget and instead of pick up widget it will be pick shortcut and now we need to save and now it will let us choose our dot id dot request pick shortcut and now we need to call this method once that's selected within the dialog so in case one we do select shortcut now I will show you what we've done so far so now you can long press will bring up the dialog and you can select shortcut and then it will bring up a second dialog to select the shortcut but it's not going to do anything yet um, it's only going to close the dialog once you press something so now we need to go into on activity result since this was a start activity for result um, the on activity for result we can add another one else if inside of the result okay um, else if request code equals equals r dot id dot request pick shortcut and then um, if there's an activity that it needs to launch to configure the shortcut then we're going to need to make that method so we can call it public or well void configure shortcut that way it's just like the configure widget and then it needs the data to be passed in intent data and then it's just going to launch the activity that it needs to launch the activity for the configuration of the shortcut so start activity for result and the intent will be just the data and the request code um, just to make this the same way as we're doing for the widget we can do another integer at the very top request create short cut and instead of 900 you can do any number so just do 700 and then inside of the configure shortcut we do request create shortcut and then once again we're going to well first let's do the configure shortcut method inside of the request pick shortcut and it just needs that data 